Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, please make sure to subscribe and uh, press the notification button for uh, future video content I will be posting in the next few weeks. Uh, today's video is going to be a very uh, short video showing you a uh, logo, the logo of my company I digitize using Embrillions. So if you take a look, it's basically this one that I have on my shirt right now. I, uh, I will uh, switch the camera so you can uh, see the computer and see the image that that I will that I digitize and then I'm gonna embroider that design using the uh, Brother PE 600. So let's go ahead and, and let me flip the camera and show you um, and show you the design. All right, so this is the design that I will be doing on the left side. It's a JPEG image. That's the digital file. Of the logo, and on the right side is the digitized uh, design. Uh, the design is, is kind of short, it's, it has uh, about 14,644 stitches. It's only two colors. And the way I did this, I, I'm going to start with the green color, uh, which has uh, just the you know the, uh, the border, and then once the whole green part is complete. Uh, it will switch to the uh, to the black uh, color. Uh, once again, I will be using the Brother PE 600 uh, right here. So I have everything set up, and I'm gonna go ahead and um, select that design. So I have the design already in the USB drive. I'm gonna go ahead and press the uh, USB uh, button, and then use the arrow to the right to go ahead and and find the design. So I'm gonna press the design and then press set. I always like to make sure that the design will fit the hoop. So I'm gonna press on side and make sure that it's within the frame. But it should be because I already put it like that in the in the uh, machine. Next I'm gonna press I'm gonna press on edit uh, in edit so that will take me to the to the following screen and uh, I like to uh, just move the uh, rotate not rotate but move the uh, uh, make sure that the design will cover the hoop area so I press this button right here and then uh, you will see that the, it will uh, the machine will trace all the edges that it will be needed to to embroider the design and you want to do this if you're not sure if you did it correctly on the software because you don't want the needle to uh, you know hit the frame the hoop and then break the needle so that is good for this design I'm gonna go ahead and press OK and then uh, and, and that's it so embroider and you're gonna press the button that says embroider uh, it should show you the colors so is it's gonna be only green and black uh, it's gonna take about 38 minutes if you notice the, the top part 38 minutes uh, 24 minutes is gonna be for the green and the remaining is gonna be for black color I already threaded the machine so I'm using uh, the green color first uh, it goes there so everything is easy you just have to follow the, the numbers in the sequence it goes through one then two continue down this will be three, go back down and around, come back up, go on that little hoop. I don't know if you can see it, but there is a hoop right there. And then down again, and then it goes to number five, which is that line. And then six, uh, go through there, and then come back around through seven. This machine has an automatic needle thread. thread. So you just uh, do that and it will automatically thread the machine, thread, uh, thread the needle, sorry. And then um, and that's it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and press uh, uh, the star. So once you lower this, the pressing foot, you will see that the button will, will turn green. And at that point, uh, we are ready to start uh, the design. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm probably gonna speed up the process so you, and you know the video doesn't turn to be a super long video.
the design uh, it looks pretty good so far let me just show you very quick so that's that's the end result uh, I think I forgot to add a double running stitch on the on this size right here because I don't see it on the black one I see it on the green so I'm gonna have to probably redo it and then just make sure that um, on the edges of the P and this uh, everywhere in the black to add a double uh, running stitch around the edges uh, other than that it came out pretty good uh, no complaints it was a very smooth design uh, if you guys are interested, I can show you how I digitize this, but it's, it's a very easy, straightforward design. You know, the only probably difficult sections of the design are these edges right here. You have to make sure that you don't make it too uh, a, a stitch intense in this area. Otherwise, you will you will poke a hole through uh, the fabric. And then uh, right here, this is supposed to be a, a little space here, a hole. Same thing here. Uh, you might be able to see it or not, but uh, I might that might be something that I need to fix as well on the design. Let me see if I can show you that. Give me one second. In the design, you can see that. So that's that's the embroidery design, and here's that how it's supposed to look. But if you notice, right here, you see a little space little hole here, another space and so on of this and this is how it came on the design you can still see it but not too much so the part that I wanted to review is this so let me open the actual file and um, this is original so let me open let me close this one close that one and open the working file because I think I didn't get a, a double size stitch on that, so if I click on this, I'm using a stitch at a level 2, uh, so let me click on that, and then I want to see the property of this object, oh, sorry guys, so for that particular, actually I did, I did add it, there's a travel edge around on that one, let me see this one, there is also a travel stitch, that one, there is one as well, the P, this one, that's very strange, I don't know why it's not showing, uh, that one also has it, and this one right here, yeah, it has it as well, alright, so I'm not exactly sure, because I can see uh, fabric showing through so it might be the needle or might need to increase the density that's something that I need to check but overall the design came out pretty good um, for the digitizing I use mainly the uh, let me show you one second uh, this tool right here the uh, magic one because it's uh, it's very clean curve and um, I digitized this myself uh, on a uh, I think it was using Affinity Designer uh, but I was thinking um embroidering this so I didn't you know put too many points because that's one of the issues you you run into when you you know bring an SPG file from you know like Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop or Affinity Designer and put it into this using the uh, the vector function. Uh, sometimes you know if the design was automatically digitized, uh, then you have so many vector lines that it will be almost impossible for the software to you know to add the stitches the way they're supposed to. So as you notice, I, I only did a few pieces here, and then uh, it's a total of 15, and I added individual property to each one of these. Uh, Anyways, so I just wanted to show you that design and then uh, I will post in a few more videos on, on the process of digitizing and um, doing the actual stitch on the uh, brother. 
um, SE600 so stay tuned for that if you're still here please make sure to like this video uh, subscribe and press the notification button for future content I will be posting thank you again and I look forward to seeing you uh, in the next few days in the next few weeks bye